Hello everybody, my name is Nick and you are watching for the latest unboxing video for the Canon's EOS 250D. Now this is kind of 250D uh, Rebel SL3 EOS uh, 200D Mark II it's all of the different uh, names for the same camera. Now first thing that we see when we open the box, instruction manual and then going here. Here we have the battery. This is uh, this is uh, what is it? this LPE17 lithium ion obviously. Then here we have a power cable, power charger and where is the next strap? Here it is. Now here, here we have the lens. In this case, the lens is 18 to 55 millimeter IS lens. This is STM. So it's pretty good for video because the autofocus will work very nice with this, and uh, it's, uh, it's quite uh, silent enough, basically. And here we have the body itself. Now here we have Canon's EOS 250D. This thing has a 1.6 crop factor, APS-C sensor obviously, 24 megapixels, Digic 8 processor, digital image stabilization in body, obviously the, if the lens has it that's a good thing. ISO goes from 100 to 25600. Uh, it could be extended to 51,200 obviously. Uh, when it comes to the exposure, the longest one is, well, uh, if we forget about the bulb, uh, it can go up to 30 seconds, or the shortest one is 1 over 4,000 of a second. Uh, FPS 5 frames per second, 4K video at 30 frames per second, and full HD at uh, 60 frames per second. Interestingly enough, uh, the last update I checked still does not contain 24 frames at uh, full HD. That's kind of bad, but okay, whatever. The ISO for video is 12,800 12, highest. It does have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. The battery is LPE17. Now this thing has 9 AF points, but thing is it has a dual pixels. So yeah, that's uh, that's very very nice. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, oh yes, maybe some more observant of you have noticed that it does not have a. Uh, central pin in the hot sheet it's uh, just black plastic it has a place where the black pin would go but it does not have a black pin that's obviously a way of Canon's uh, trying to uh, kill the competition in the sense of the Godox Yongno and all of the others so that uh, you could not use their uh, flashes but thing is the Godox has uh, announced already that uh, with the new software update, uh, you could uh, you could uh, use uh, their flashes on these cameras. So it's kind of you know there's no really that much of a point. You don't really have to buy proprietary gear. Obviously, you could not buy the cheapest Godox uh, flash because you don't have a central pin, so you don't have uh, anything to fire with. But uh, any of the flashes that have the TTL should be fine. Obviously, one that uh, with uh, whom you could update uh, their software. So, who is this thing for? Well, it's uh, obviously uh, marketed for the beginners. But the thing is, uh, if this thing was out uh, when I bought my first DSLR, I would have stuck to it uh, quite a bit longer. I mean, come on, uh, dual pixel AF, uh, 4K video, 30 frames per second. It's just very, very, very good camera. For a beginner, certainly 
a lot better than anything we had. Uh, well, we had. It was a, a bit of five years ago, I think. So it's not really that long time ago, but uh, Ken has really improved. And then think again that uh, anything from uh, uh, 500D up to 700D is basically the same camera, only adding like touch screen, uh, flippy up screen, and things like that in that in very very short increments this is a very a very big step up so yeah I do think that this is a very good camera for a beginner uh, if you are on a budget and obviously you cannot buy anything a bit more expensive this is perfectly adequate and obviously having the Flippy up screen is very good both for video and for photo shoot because shooting from uh, below or from above that's very very important. Obviously for video immensely important and I find it that it's good that you can just close it and then the screen is safe inside. So yeah, you're watching Photolit. If you enjoyed this video leave a like, comment and subscribe. Until the next time. Goodbye.